Hello, hello, hello to everyone from around the world. Welcome. I'm Alex Diaz. My pronouns are he, him, his, and I'm a senior product marketing manager at Webflow, where I focus on our core capabilities. This includes the designer, CMS, our newly unveiled logic, and of course, users. And I'm Ivy, that's short for Ibifuru Odu, product manager at Webflow, and focused on the user capability. My pronouns are she, her, and I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> and look, it's a pleasure to be here today. In this session, we're gonna take a deeper look at the membership's beta. As Jay-Z mentioned during the keynote, so much of the way we interact online today is based on systems that allow people to log in. Nearly every software experience you have today is customized for your end user. Today, we announced a new core building block in Webflow. That is the user's capability, the foundational capability that unlocks the ability for any Webflow customer to launch a members-only website. IB, can you tell everyone more about how Membership's feature is built on top of the user's building block? I feel like there's, there's a lot there to really unpack and learn. Yes. So the Webflow platform is essentially a group of really flexible building blocks that we use to create cohesive, unique experiences. These building blocks include the payments functionality, which powers e-commerce, the CMS for dynamic sites, and now users. Users embodies our vision for a member persona on Webflow and powers memberships. With this, we're making it possible for you to build even more powerful sites where your end users have an identity and in future can define their own experiences. Hell yeah. More powerful websites. Hell yeah. All about that. But what about this new building block, right? Like, I, I mean, we've talked about this since, I don't know, the beginning of the year, but can you dig a bit more into the concept of user for everyone at home? I feel like, you know, there, there's still more there we can really dig into. For sure. So the long-term goal for the user building block is that it empowers you to provide custom views, information, actions, or perks that make your site even more valuable and engaging for your end users as they're interacting with and eventually contributing to your site. In the short term, we're unveiling foundational user login and access control functionality for membership use cases, which empowers business owners to protect and or monetize content. But we do envision a future where we can unlock even more powerful capabilities. I like it. I like it. This is really awesome. And, and for many of you at home, you're probably a lot like I was when I first started working on these new capabilities. They sound very fancy, likely very technical, but now. They're just insanely cool. Because as we dig into what these, uh, you know, these advanced use cases, especially among the, the many you're gonna see later in this session, we get to see all kinds of new categories unlocked. Not just today, but in the future. Just think about the value you'd get when you enable end users to interact with and contribute towards site content, whether dynamic or conditional, all on a web page. It's huge. The building block users represents an exciting future for Webflow, all from a capability standpoint, and memberships itself represents an exciting launch, if I do say so myself as a marketing guy. Now, I, I, I'm sure you can't wait to see deeper aspects of the memberships UI, but before we get there, let's take a step back. Hey, Ivy, uh, can you explain why we started with this use case? Like, why was it even worth prioritizing? Great question. So first off, this use case was a top request from the community. The number one request actually, which is why we're super excited to be announcing this. Mm -hmm. We heard our customers loud and clear. We reached out to better understand what the driving needs are. And we learned a lot. Yeah, and I just wanna say, I love this customer focused approach we've been taking. That's the soul of any human centered design process. All right, so in this case, how does this customer focused approach apply today? Sure. So today, all sites built with Webflow are presented identically to everyone that visits the site. And now, more than ever, there's an increased need for businesses and organizations to deliver unique online experiences for different audiences. Now, memberships can mean a lot of different things depending on the business need. Mm -hmm. But at its core, the goal is leveraging end user data or actions to provide a sense of belonging and a more tailored, monetizable experience. Secondly, the concept of a user is a critical piece for any powerful no-code platform and unlocks the power to create even so much more. Memberships are the beginning, 
and it's the first step to bringing the value of users to the Webflow community. Yeah, so I don't know if you saw me earlier, IB. I was like snapping it up. So, all right, let's recap here. An increased need to deliver unique experiences online and memberships at its core allows you to leverage and user data for more tailored web experiences. But let's dig into this use case more specifically. What do you think? For sure. So quite simply, you can provide visitors with the ability to sign up for user accounts on your site and define what content they will be able to access when logged in. We put a lot of time into defining the core building blocks for authentication, access control, and payments, as we believe those are the foundations for any kind of membership site. And we want to provide our users with the flexibility to define what a membership means to them. Do you want to provide private spaces for individuals on your site? or perhaps to monetize your content? Or do you simply want to add in login functionality to collect customer data points like a name or email? Entirely up to you. Ooh. In other words, we're working toward delivering more power to the no-code creator. And speaking of, we will be digging some more into what it means to monetize your content. That is the name of this session, as I imagine a lot of visual, uh, visual developers are probably excited about this. But let's save that for the product preview. Before we get there, IB, can you tell us a little bit about the, uh, the future roadmap, what it'll hold for users? What does that possibly look like? So as mentioned earlier, the user block goes beyond membership sites. And we aim to scale to even more use cases as we progress, all the while building in a fully flexible and scalable way. Hmm. For example, we ensured that we could extend the existing pieces easily to support more complex needs. Like the current admin dashboard that you're going to see really soon, for managing users in the future, we will have custom fields, which allow you to collect even more metadata on your customers for your design workflows. Or the possibility of even just conditionally displaying elements based on the user, user's access level. We've gotten a lot of feedback on that. We want to define, we really want to define what it means to fully embed user data and properties into your design workflows. So rest assured, we, we have so much more work to do the investment does not end here. Hell yeah, and with that, let's switch gears a bit and jump into the product preview of this breakout session and learn a bit more about the memberships feature. Hey, Ivy, you mentioned memberships being a combination of foundational building blocks. I say we start there. Makes sense. So with the combination of users, the CMS, commerce payments, and a designer, you can create membership sites in Webflow. And, and here's how. With the designer, you create a truly beautiful site and then populate it with curated content from the CMS. With users, you get the ability to enable your visitors create private accounts and determine what they can access with set accounts. And finally, you leverage commerce payments where you can determine how much and how frequently we'll be charging your users for accessing the content on your site, of course. That's the building block effect that we keep talking about. Okay, okay. But, but let's dig a, a bit deeper though, right? So m maybe we can use a familiar use case to give everyone at home an easier association. Sure, let's think about a premium news site or blog. Typically we'll have some articles that are limited so users can get a sneak peek into the expertise you're sharing. And then some paywalled articles as the key revenue source. At the core of defining this new experience in Webflow is a feature called access groups. By creating an access group, you're defining a private space on your site that's only accessible to a unique set of users or audience, if you will. For this use case, we want our users to get controlled access to certain content and paid access to others, right? We're tackling the first requirement by creating a limited access group. And you can call this whatever you want free, new users, level one, whatever makes the most sense to you. Now we have to define how your users will access this private space. And we can do that via access settings. Mm. For free access, there are two options you can choose from. There's the manual assignment, which means that you have to specifically choose the people who have access to this space. Or we, you have the more automatic option, which is available on sign up which means all users have to do to be a part of this group is to create and verify their accounts. We want this to be automatic, so we're setting the type of free access for the group we created to after a user signs up and verifies their account. 
But, but just to be clear for folks, is this also how you enable restricted content? Because I feel like, is that right? <laughs> ah, you're jumping ahead of me, Alex, because the last step is defining what's actually restricted to these authorized users. This is where we enable restricted content. You can easily select static pages, folders, entire collection pages, also known as dynamic pages. And in the future, you will be able to select individual items. Remember to save, and as easy as that, we've set up the membership. Yeah, saving is major key. Don't forget that. So, all right, if I were to summarize, we create an access group, we choose the right view settings, and then we link to the content on the back end. Did I get all right? Correct. Okay. And that's how it works for free access. Now let's move on to pay. You're able to create multiple access groups, enabling different membership tiers or access levels on a site on one site. To create the second category of restricted content, you guessed it, we'll need a second group. Following the same steps, we will create a new group. But in this case, we'll call it premium, and then we'll choose the paid access setting. As you can see, the options we have now are totally different. We're presented with a way to find an existing membership product or to create a new one. Mm, hold up, Ivy. So when we say a membership's product, what's that actually entail? That's a good question. So we've extended our commerce offering to include a membership product type, which allows you to define the billing and pricing needs for your membership. There we go, there we go. And when we're talking about obviously creating membership products, I imagine it follows the same flow as any other commerce product, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Same as other commerce use cases in Webflow, you need to kick off the purchase flow by defining a product for your end users to purchase on the published site. And you can launch that flow right from this panel. Now, to create one, it's a couple of steps. You click on the Create button. You choose the right product type. Note that only membership products work with access groups, right? Then choose a billing option, of which we now have two of them. Makes sense, makes sense. And, and you know, those two billing options, it seems like a pretty big detail, so I'm gonna call you out. You know, let's dig into that. <laughs> no worries. Yes, we're also announcing the ability to create subscription products as well. So you can charge customers a recurring monthly fee for your offerings, which we know a lot of commerce customers are really excited about. So now it's entirely up to you how you charge your customers. It could be a one-time payment, let's say for one of charge like lifetime access fees or one of course purchases. And then you have the option to charge recurrent payments in the form of a subscription. Lastly, we'll set a price of course, and then save. Saving automatically links this to the group and we're all set. As a reminder, when access group settings are set to pay, only users who have successfully purchased a linked membership product we'll be able to access linked content. Mm. And that's it. Like We've completed the setup for our multi-tier membership, and we're ready for our end users to start experiencing what we have to offer. Thanks for that reminder, IB. And honestly, great product preview. You did amazing. Now, something we didn't dig into was the ability to have true user management. Think about that for a moment. Webflow memberships will provide tools to effectively manage your online audiences as they grow talking about adding, updating, or removing users as needed. And of course, it wouldn't be a Webflow membership solution without full creative control. Pairing all these amazing customer benefits we just spoke about with the design customizability across all end user account site workflows and even emails, which enables you to craft bespoke branded experiences unlike ever before. But look, more than anything, there's an opportunity for growth that memberships unlocks for visual developers everywhere. Take that in. Quite simply, the ability to finally restrict and modernize content securely, and once again for the folks in the back, natively, all on Webflow. How'd I do, IB? Nicely done, yes. The only thing I'd like to say is thank you to the entire team that worked so hard to get us to this point, and to everyone in the Webflow community as well for the feedback and the constant support. We're really excited about the work we're doing with memberships and the foundational work it unlocks for our user building block. 
This is just the beginning. We'll keep learning and scaling to unlock even more complex experiences in the future. <laughs> and look, everyone, if you're curious about memberships and want to try it out, uh, or maybe you just haven't signed up yet, as I said earlier in NCC TV, head on over to webflow.com slash memberships. Okay, we covered a lot, but that is the end of our breakout session. It's all from us. I'm Alex Diaz, coming to you live from NoCodeConf. Thank you so much for joining us. And wherever you are from around the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Cheers, everyone. Bye, everyone.